Hello and welcome back to the Baggies Podcast YouTube channel where of course we're giving you all the latest news, views and opinions on all things Albion back again today with another transfer update, the fourth one I think of our summer series so far. Uh, basically just giving you the latest transfer news uh, that's Albion related. Yeah, we'll be back today. And as I said, I only really record these videos and sort of transfer updates when there's actually something to, to talk about. You know, it's pointless coming on here and saying, oh, we're linked to somebody because that's not really um, how it works. And, you know, I don't really want to kind of make videos for the sake of making videos. I want to make sure that what I'm putting out there is it's pretty, uh, pretty substantial in terms of quality and, and you know, something to report. And that is why I'm recording today, because there's big transfer news regarding a former Albion player uh, going by the name of Okai Yakushlu, who of course was on loan with us throughout uh, during the second half of the 2020-21 season. Uh, Albion are in talks with him, basically. We'll be running through all the details of that news uh, in today's video, talking about whether it would be a good move, bad move, that kind of thing. So yeah, we'll be talking about that later on in the video. We'll also be speaking about Callum Robinson, who of course is uh, under interest from Preston North End and rounding off with a little bit about Albion's possible director of football appointments. So yeah, make sure you stick around for all of the latest transfer news here on the Baggies Podcast YouTube channel throughout the summer. Click subscribe uh, to keep up to date and comment your thoughts on these possible moves down below. Let's get straight into it. You're watching the Baggies Podcast YouTube channel. For match previews, match day vlogs, match reactions and more, make sure to subscribe to the Baggies Podcast YouTube channel. So let's cut to the chase. Let's talk about Akaya Kushlu. Um, yeah, it's fair to say that this is a very well welcomed bit of transfer news. Initially, of course, we all know that um, he shone for us during the 2019 20 season, a great player for us. And yeah, probably, well, the best, the best player in that second half of the season, in my opinion, anyway. I was really a big fan of him. A battling, sort of hard warrior type midfielder that we definitely needed during that season and, and were missing for, for the first half of that season. It just makes me think that, you know, what could have been if maybe we had him at the start of that season? You know, maybe he could have made more of a difference. And it's such a shame that he came to us at a time where we we're already really dead and buried in that division. And, you know, it looked like our fate to the championship was already confirmed. And yeah, of course, he's, he's a player that's that really interests me as to how he's not really got that better move since that loan spell because he really did stand out for us. It was no surprise. You know, I remember Leeds had a little look at him. They were quite interested in him at one point. A couple of other teams were. I think uh, I think it might have been Palace as well who were, who were kind of taking a bit of a fancy to him. I was a bit surprised not to... I think Watford as well, maybe Wolves too. I, you know, I was a bit surprised not to see him make the step up. But, of course, he's just been released from Celta Vigo, who were the club that we loaned him from initially. Um, and he's now a free transfer, free agent now, was on loan at Hetafe in Spain last season. So, yeah, he's been, yeah, not really getting the moves and, and sort of not really playing the top fight flight football that I personally think that, and I think a lot of Albion fans think that he's capable of. Um, yeah, with him, I think it's a difficult one. I, I, I kind of look at it and, yeah, it's, it's a bit of a difficult one for me. I look at him and I think... You know, he's going to, you know, he's a, number one, I'll say that if we can get him for free, he's a no-brainer for me. But I just wonder how he's not got that that, that better move. I, I know he's not very well suited to Spanish football. I think that seems to kind of be a, a thing a t thing that everybody says, you know, his game is definitely more suited to England. And sort of the, the not really the intensity, but the kind of rough and tumble of it and the, the physicality. It's not really the case in Spain. There's not really m a room for a bit of a destroyer in your Kushlu in, the, in that sense. I, I think you need somebody in the base of your midfield who can really control the tempo, control the possession and, and kind of keep things under wrap in that sense. So, yeah, I was a bit surprised with your Kushlu not getting that better move. Um, but, yeah, of course, this move was was played down by Steve Bruce earlier on in, uh, in, in pre-season by Steve Bruce. Uh, yeah, that was that was quite interesting to read. Of course, we all saw that he was released. I think I put it out there on Twitter a couple of times saying basically he's released, you know, he's free. Why don't we go and have a look for him? Uh, and Bruce said that he thought that ship had sailed. But of course, the revelation is that since then, we've seen a bit of uh, a bit of different news coming out, really, from a, from a Yukushlu point of view. And of course, the Express and Star reporting it. We've also uh, It was a rumour on Twitter, I think, for a little bit of a while. And I think it's been going on for the past week. And it's kind of like... Oh, he's going to sign. He's going to sign, and everybody was a bit, oh, maybe. And now we've seen these kind of the, you know, you know, we've seen the Athletic reporting it. We've seen uh, John Percy, of course, uh, coming out as well from uh, the Telegraph as well, which is quite nice to see. So, yeah, I think um, it's pretty much been confirmed that we're in positive talks with Yukushlu. Uh, he's very open to the move to come back to England and play for Albion. 
Uh, he's reportedly also dropped those wage demands uh, that, that I think kind of put us off in the first place. We were maybe looking at him earlier on, on after his loan as well. Um, some concerns over his fitness as well, um, which I think is something that I think a lot of Albion fans have kind of pointed out to me, which I think is fair. He faded away during the sort of latter half of the, the last stage of his loan. I mean, like the last couple of games and wasn't great during the Euros. I think that may be where a lot of teams have kind of come and stuck with him. They've watched his performances at the Euros. He wasn't great, if I'm honest, and neither were Turkey as a whole. I thought they were going to go further in that competition than they actually did. But um, he did fade a little bit. But for me, I think this is something that can be worked on. Fading away in a game is not, it's not, it's not an issue for me. It's something that can definitely be worked on. You can make a player better in that sense and you can build them up. If he came in over the next week or so, he's still smack bang in the middle of pre-season. Of course, we know that he won't have really had that uh, being a free agent now. But I still believe that, you know, he comes and puts in a shift during this time uh, and, and, you know, he could potentially be back up to fitness by the start of the season. It's not that hard to believe. So, yeah, of course, we know that Bruce is quite keen on the number six and I think Yakushlu is that. Uh, where he'd fit in in Albion's midfield is quite interesting. Uh, I'm not sure really where that is. Is that at the base, very base of the midfield? Is he going to sit and hold the back four on his own or is he going to kind of play a double pivot role? If he is, probably Moet's the guy to play alongside him, somebody not too similar to himself. Because I think comfortably Yakushlu is, is one of the well, is the best defensive midfielder in the championship if he comes in for us. So, yeah, it seems that um, Bruce's mind had kind of been changed about him and he kind of feels that that might be an angle to go down. And there's um, reports that obviously these positive talks have been held and that's fantastic to see. Of course, he's a player that I think a lot of Albion fans would love to see, including myself. And yeah, I think it's an incredible move if we can pull it off. I wouldn't... I'd be more excited about this one because of how much I liked him, but I think the need was more for creative players at the start of this window. But now I'm looking at it, the midfield needs strengthening. And I think Yakushlu, maybe he's not the 100% the type of midfielder Albion are desperate for, which is a, a bit more of a uh, a deep playmaker who can sort of carry the ball into, into the final third. But still, a quality of that player for free, you cannot turn that down. A player that should be playing Premier League football, you, you, you can't be... Uh, turning down moves uh, from, you know, with, with somebody of his quality. So, yeah, I, I for one, would be absolutely buzzing to see your Kushley back at the Hawthorns. We'll just have to see the developments on that one, of course, was great for us back on his loan spell. So I'm sure a lot of you are very excited to see how this one develops. And, yeah, I can only suggest that you stick with, uh, stick with us here on the Baggies Podcast YouTube channel uh, and ensure that you're around just to see if any moves happen or any... Um, Possible transfer news comes back in for him. So yeah, stick around, subscribe for that more on Okaya Kuzlu if it happens. And yeah, let's move on to Callum Robinson. Uh, there's interest in him from Preston North End. Um, a former club of his uh, joined Sheffield United afterwards, of course, after quite a long spell in the championship um, for, for Robinson. Um, their manager, Ryan Lowe, is pretty keen to, to kind of bring him to the Hawthorns and and bring him in. I'm not sure whether that's going to be a permanent or a loan. I've got a feeling that Preston are quite after a loan and maybe structuring it in that way that he he kind of joins in the end and, and joins at the end of that loan spell. However, I do believe that um I do believe that, you know, kind of it, it's a it's a difficult, you know, difficult one to, to structure because Preston aren't gonna have bags of money to spend. We're probably gonna be looking at about three or four million for him. Have they got that sort of money? I'm not sure. But their manager Ryan Lowe is, is quite keen on him if he's available. So, yeah, I'd be open to letting him go. There are others that I'd probably want to leave first, if I'm honest, but he's not the first on the list to leave. Um, there are definitely others that I'd, I'd probably rather see leave first before before Robinson, if I have to be completely plain. I do think he's got more ability than a lot of the players that I'm, I'm looking to see leave. Um, of course, make sure you go and check out that squad depth video if you haven't already for, you know, kind of an analysis of how Albion's squad depth is looking. So, yeah, Callum Robinson with him, it's interesting. And I think it'll be, be I'll be keen to see what happens with him um, and over the summer window. There will be interest because, of course, he got some great numbers last season. You know, whether we want to believe about his sort of attitude or, or, or you know, problems uh, on the field. You know, we, we have to believe that he did get some really good goals and assist numbers last year. And that's really good for the championship. And in a poor side that hardly created anything, he created quite a lot. So for all that, you know, I think he's one of the, He's, he's a bit further down the pecking order uh, as ones I'd like to leave this summer. Um, make sure you go and check the Keep Sal or Loan videos out as well. That's a nice series to watch. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure whether that'll be a permanent or a loan, but we'll, of course, have to see as and when it happens. And finally, on to the Director of Football news. Uh, Albion have, you know, kind of drawn up a shortlist for this Director of Football role that they're kind of recruiting for. Ron Gurley 
is open to getting that football board uh, up and running. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see who they who they pick up with that. There's lots of good options available, but they have to pick the right one. I think it'd be interesting to see who they pick up. And yeah, of course, all the latest news will be reported here on the Back East Podcast YouTube channel. I think that's all we've got time for today, you know. Um, but yeah, Akaya Kushlu, Callum Robinson, Director of Football, could be an interesting uh, summer window once again for Albion uh, as things were starting to, starting to lull in Albion's transfer activity. They seem to be hotting up again and the signing of Yakushlu could go a long way to uh, getting Albion back towards the Premier League. So make sure you subscribe for all the latest news uh, here on the Baggies Podcast YouTube channel. Comment your thoughts down below and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.